Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday lesson. I'm Nate Brown. If you haven't checked out my new book by Alfred Publishing, Alfred's Beginning Workbook for Snare Drum, click the link below this video. I've got a, a video of me explaining what it is. And uh, yeah. Also, don't forget to check out our emergency goat pictures thread on our forum. Click the link below after the lesson. For this lesson, you'll need this sheet music, Easy Ostinato Cheating. And you can get that at the link below. I'm going to have a lot of links. The concept of this lesson is taking a beat that you're already comfortable with and moving the ostinato a little bit to create a completely new sounding beat. And for this lesson, I'm going to use this foundational groove. It may not be um, something you're used to playing, but you can use this one as the example. And you can also do this with your own grooves that you are used to playing. I'll start by playing the foundational groove. So it's a simple groove. It might be difficult to get the two left sticks in a row or that uh, double kick, but I put the stickings above it to help keep it organized when you move on to the next uh, ostinato cheat. So when you look at the second one, it says alternate the right stick between the low tom and snare drum. If you look at the notation, it, it looks a mess, but it really is exactly the same beat that you just played, but now your right stick, instead of hitting the hi-hat, you're just gonna go back and forth between the snare. So you think the same groove, but now your right stick is going to be in a different place. That's my favorite to switch between the low tom and the snare drum because it really conceals that eighth note ostinato. It sounds like a almost a completely different beat, but it has the same general feel. If you don't want to change it that dramatically, uh, the next one goes between the ride and the low tom. So you still have the same feel, uh, just makes a little different sound, whatever I'm trying to say. The next one takes it between the crash and the middle tom. And what I try to do with this one is make it into more a drum fill concept because you can't just change where your sticks are and play the same beat and it works as a drum fill. So check this out. Hope you enjoyed the lesson this week and can take that ostinato cheating concept to your own grooves and, and really double, triple, quadruple, quintuple. Hey, I also wanted to mention that we're starting an online drummer school very shortly and I will be taking a small number of Skype students. If that's something you're interested in, then you can email me at natebrown at onlinedrummer.com uh, and you can reserve a spot. And until next Monday, keep drumming.